Okay, so we are doing NIMS, or Neuroelectrical Muscle Stimulation. So here's the bag that you would want to get, and you can see it has EMS on it. And then inside the bag is going to be this little machine. And you will put the two batteries in the back, which I've already done. Um, and then you will open it up. And here it is. And so we're going to do wrist extension for this one. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and place her nodes. So I will use an alcohol swab and wipe off the muscle belly of the um, wrist extensors. And so um, to help you find where the muscle belly is, you ask your client to move into wrist extension. And um, you can see her muscle there. So I'm going to place one um, here and then place. You can see it in the video. Okay the next one here and you could see her muscle belly really well um, so now I'm going to plug her into channel one and we're going to use the red positive and place it in the back and do the black negative and place it in the front okay so here's where we need to figure out what we need to set it on so we're going to go ahead and turn it on Hopefully you can see. Yeah, so you can see. So it's already set at 300 microseconds and 35 hertz. Cycle one. And so this actually is what we want it to be set on. But um, just so you can see how, if you wanted to just change the cycle, you would just hit mode. So I'm just going to go through, but we're going to go back to cycle one because that's what we want it on. Um, you cannot change the 300 microseconds. So usually you would use... Um, 200 to 350 microseconds for larger muscles, but since this one's set on there, we're just going to leave it at that. Um, and then we're going to leave, see when I change the cycles, it changed the 30 hertz, so we want to take that back up to 35. And then um, we can check our time out. So we want it to be ramp up for four seconds, and then we want it to be ramp down for four seconds, and we want it to be... Um, on time for 10 seconds, off time for 10 seconds. So that's all set good for us. Um, so now, once again, we have it on 35 hertz, 300 megaseconds, I mean <laughs> microseconds, and on cycle one. So we're plugged into channel one. So as I start hitting um, this button for channel one, it's going to slowly, she's going to slowly start filling it in. Um, so you want to kind of do that at a constant rate, not too fast, not too slow. Um, and then when she gets to the point where it should be, you want to stop and it'll automatically do it for you. Okay, so we're going to slowly start moving her up. All right, so Christina's a smaller frame, so um, she doesn't require a lot. So is that too much for you? Is like that comfortable? More. Yeah, I, I pushed it three times for uh, you, so. Yeah. Um, so you can see she'll go down, and then now it's ramping her back up. It'll hold her there for 10 seconds, and then it'll ramp her back down for four seconds. It's kind of cool. So. Probably placed them really good. <laughs> yeah, she's really easy to place because her muscle bellies are easily seen. And that's it, guys.